that video. And it makes everything seem so glamorous, doesn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> it is glamorous to a degree. Paul right. can tell you, war is uh, war is hell. Yeah, what I mentioned down at the uh, opening ceremony is that they promise you three round meals, square meals a day, and it comes out of a round, dark green can. Oh. They promise you a roof over your head, but they don't tell you it's a water-soaked poncho as you're waddling in the swamps of Vietnam or dust-strewn poncho in the deserts of Iraq. But when you look back, would you ever change anything? No, and you know what's interesting? 96% of all Vietnam veterans polled would go back, do it again, even if it were to end the same way. Tell us, That's amazing. Yeah, it, there is this popular perception out there, uh, perhaps from movies like Rambo, that, that Vietnam veterans uh, are not, as a group, well-adjusted to civilian life. I have seen studies, I've seen figures that say the opposite is actually Correct. true. Absolutely. One of the things was is that when kids came home, there was this unknown disease that we didn't know that it went back to the Civil War. It had been always there, but it became associated with Vietnam vets that they're weird. All right, Mike Woods has some very special guests. Let's uh, see who he's talking to, Mike. Oh yeah, I have someone very special. In fact, I have two very special people here, Rosanna and Greg. I have Roscoe Brown from the Tuskegee Airmen, as well as Cuba Gooding Jr. from Red Tails, an actor, and uh, both very well-respected gentlemen. But it's all about Veterans Day here, guys. Thank you once again for being with us here. And, 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 and you may not know the whole story about the Tuskegee Airmen. Let me talk to Roscoe. Can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you, uh, where, how you came up with this title? What well, is this all about? You know, the Tuskegee Airmen were the first black fighter pilots in this country. It came at a time when the uh, prejudice would not let us fly, but because of the pressure in NAACP, we learned to fly. We went to Tuskegee. That's where we were trained. Then we went over combat, and then our combat record over the 15th Air Force escorting bombers. We never lost bombers to enemy fighters and we it's got amazing. to be known as the Red Tails and everybody wanted us to escort them. And right now, because of this Red Tails movie, by the way, the Red Tails are right the, color, the color of the tails of our plane. Because of the Red Tails movie, guys like Cuba are bringing us alive <laughs> again. All right, so Cuba. So, so I mean, this has to be quite an honor for you to portray someone to like Roscoe Brown. What's it like, and, and, and what did you learn from the movie Red Tails? Well, you know, I, I was telling Dr. Brown, uh, when I was uh, in high school, we didn't have the uh, African-American curriculum classes. You know, we didn't d know what went, what our participation was in World War II. And to hear of the hero, her heroic feats that they accomplished, you know, the, the bomber escorts, the raids, and everything, it's a wonderful thing. And I tell you, George Lucas is more passionate about telling their story than anybody I've ever met. And it is, and it's an amazing story. I mean, you actually uh, partook in, in taking some of the enemy fighters down, correct? Yeah, I shot down the first jet over Berlin, That's which amazing. is the climax of our movie, with all of the planes in the air back and forth. Right. You will find this to one of the most exciting experiences. And we as Tuskegee Airmen are so proud that we are now being recognized. I love that. And, and how do you feel about Cuba Gooding Jr. in the movie? You know, I'm He's sure okay. Yeah, he, all right. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all He's right, my well, buddy. He's done a great job. He's yeah. done it. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you both for coming out Thank here. Thank you. Let's Thank see. You, exactly. Tom. Check out that bomber jacket that he's got there. Yeah, now, he earned that, right, Roscoe? Yeah, we, uh, we earned that. That's right. There All you go. Bill, happy Roscoe Veterans Day, and thank you so much for all you do. And, of course, we got uh, Cuba. He's in there. Okay, Mike. Giving much love. Thank you very okay. much. See you the marathon. Absolutely. <laughs> Next year, the marathon. I That's run the marathon, to too, you know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I can't live up to this guy. Yeah. Roscoe, you go, my friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Keep Tuskegee going. Airmen, Greg and Rosanna, I don't know. I can't keep up. I okay, love it. Friend. That's fantastic. <laughs> Tell him we oh, said I hi. I've met him before. He's a great guy. He lives. Uh, he's a New Yorker, too, by the way. And listen, they also overcame prejudice and racism during that war as and when, well. And when they came home, it was here. That was the amazing thing. We didn't, we didn't do this until the 60s. Those, those men came back from the war, were heroes, but were discriminated against at the same time. Military now, I would say, fully integrated. Fully and, now, and led the way. And led the way in integration. Led the way. And, and now uh, it was a big year, actually, in that uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell was, uh, was abolished. Yeah, that's something that was... Well, we are proud to have them uh, on our air today on Fox 5 as we celebrate all the men and women who've done so much to keep us free in our country. Be right back. And back. And back. And back.